Hi, Scorpio. How are you doing? If you are new, my name is Dajni and I am Empath of Hope. I am a psychic medium here on YouTube. Now, today's message is timeless, so it doesn't matter when you see it. The message might be just for you. And if you don't resonate with it, don't take it. Leave it for somebody else. And if you do resonate with it, please subscribe, like the video, and thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for this reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, highest elevated ascended masters, I call upon you to open the door and illuminate the path. Show us what we need to see. Thank you. I'm seeing symbolism for Stonehenge. Um, I don't know why. But maybe you know. Maybe you're going to see the image of Stonehenge. Um, what else is there, Spirit? I'm also seeing big, big daisies and sunflowers. And a big, gigantic diamond or crystal. Also, I'm also hearing the name Hannah. And um, when I get names, sometimes it could start with the, the first letter or the last name. It could even be mentioning like a road or a business, things around that nature. Let's go ahead and pull your tarot cards. Spirit. Let's get these cards. I can tell you're you've been working really, really hard. Oh, Scorpio. I feel like like y'all are still thinking about a past situation. Y'all don't forget nothing. Y'all hold on to everything. I've always heard stories of Scorpio even holding on to, to memories of childhood and still holding grudges on it. Y'all stand for the symbolism of rebirth and y'all were associated with Pluto. But rebirth is one of the hardest things that y'all can go through. It's your own inner struggle to face your storms and the storms of life. I see like you have been focused heavily upon work and building your money for your future. I also feel like somebody's going to be buying a house soon um, and moving. That's just something that spirit is just actively showing me. Um, new doors opening, keys. This could even be like for a car even. Maybe that's something that you're trying to uh, get is a vehicle. Because the first card that I have for you is the Ten of Wands. And this talks about hard work, hard labor. This could talk about um, a heavy burden that has been upon you. And it's almost like, it's like I don't see no end in sight when it's repetitious. It's like doing this every day. It starts to become mundane. And by the way, the Ten of Wands is looking like you cannot see, he cannot see past the situation, which means that you cannot see past the situation that you keep simmering in. You are manifesting. Always remember that. When you think things or feel things, you're manifesting. Um, I do feel also with the Eight of Pentacles, hard work, dedication. Maybe you're trying to build a business, build a brand. Maybe you're trying to get known because the eight of Pentacles is about mastery. This is not a new adventure. This is something that you are dedicated or you know exactly what to do, how to do it. Maybe you work with the hands. Maybe you're a sculptor, an artist. Um, definitely. 
definitely sculptor, artist, something around that nature. We also have the, the, the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords says you feel stuck in a situation. But honestly, if you seen that, you know, if she's seen that she was tied to swords, she could just easily maneuver and escape. So I do feel like you overestimate your burdens. You overestimate your problems sometimes. Sometimes solutions are easily found in the, the unlikeliest of places and the likeliest of places as well. We also have a full card here for new beginnings. So as soon as you rest your mind, go through a period of ease and relaxation, maybe some spa day or self-care, you're going to have this hope and this inspiration that enters your life and it's like new beginning immediately. Happy-go-lucky, charming, characteristic. This card is heavily associated with Aquarius and Pisces. Maybe an Aquarius or Pisces is in your life. But this is about being futuristic and thinking in a new approach, setting up short-term, small-term, long-term goals to try to help you um, understand a little bit more of what you have been going through so you can find more peace, relaxation, and a feeling of hope. I feel like you have been struggling um, for a moment. There's also going to be communication coming in with the Eight of Wands, and this communication is going to come in for a positive note. And this positive note is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is about new beginnings. New beginnings filled with peace, joy, love, happiness, and expansion, abundance, and maybe even love. A lot of people see this card as an ultimate cup of love. So it's not done and over for you. I don't think that nothing is going to work out good for you. Be more positive. Keep a little um, a pep in your step or a slogan or a phrase or a mantra that you carry with you every day to cheer you up and make you feel more excited. Um, one of my favorite movies is 13 Going on 30, and I always say that slogan. I'm 30, flirty, and thriving even when I feel the worst or when I'm going through my bad days. I'll tell it to myself, and it boosts me up a little bit and gets me more prepared to tack on handle anything. I also have the High Priestess and the Magician both for you, which means that maybe you're a practitioner yourself, maybe you're a tarot reader yourself, maybe you have a strong manifesting uh, like skill, maybe you can just think something and it comes to you. Um, I don't know, but I see like maybe you are tapping into your subconscious, you're tapping into your inner self, maybe you're traveling in the astral, having weird dreams, um, having vivid dreams. But when I see these two cards together, it's explicitly together, um, I can't even talk. I'm so excited the way I'm like trying to get it out. Big, big adventure. This is the energy of a lifetime. This is the energy of saying, you know what? I always knew it. Like the high priestess itself speaks of inner intuition inner guidance, knowledge, spirituality, patience, faith, honesty. And the magician says, I know what I want. I know what I desire. I can make it happen. I can go for it. The magic of nature is in you. Surrounding yourself with positivity and love and blessings. I really, really do love that. So before we get into the oracles, um, we're going to go ahead and do singles, coupled, um, energy read. So if you are single, let's see what's out here for you. Let's see what I pick up. Thank you, spirit. The moon. Intuitive. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, this card as a single says that maybe there's a lot of people, a lot of people coming into your life right now. Um, you could be heavily distracted by multiple messages, multiple people in your DMs. When I see the moon though, it's saying that I don't feel like the, the people that's in your DMs is the ones that you want. I feel like, you know, there, there's something better. So something more out there with a stronger connection. The moon can also speak about, um, hidden truths to the surface. It can also speak about sometimes cutting cords and letting things go. 
um, rest and recuperate. Um, I also see the moon as um, a super emotional thing. So maybe it's like you're emotional about trying to find what you truly uh, want, trying to find a situation or a person that you truly love. Um, I also see that. Um, I just heard that Selena, there's a Selena song. And I don't know if Selena has been coming up for you or what. It says, late at night when all the world is sleeping, I stay up and think of you. And I wish on a star the somewhere you are thinking of me too. Cause I'm dreaming. I need a candle now. Um, that's the energy that I feel for you. Yeah, so beautiful. I love Selena. Such a beautiful song. And the other card that I have for you is the Page of Swords. So it's almost like you would fight for love. You would go for everything that your heart desired. And I'm telling you, it's on the way. Don't don't lose faith. Don't lose don't don't lose hope for real. Um definitely. Our Hattie. For a couple of people. Thank you so much, Spirit. Oh wow, coupled. I knew, I knew it, I knew it. I knew I channeled a big old diamond for somebody. We have the Four of Wands, 1111. It's a soulmate card. It's a card of marriage. It's a card of celebration, happiness. This card is also a big symbol of crossing a finish line together. So I do feel like there's going to be big plans and big energy in store for your life. Don't lose hope. Now, side note, side note, if you did not resonate with that coupled one and there's something going on in your, your life, in your relationship, there was another card that popped out. So I'm going to read it for you. Only take it if it resonates. If it don't resonate, leave it for the person that is going through something. I do have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is my heartbreak card personally as a reader. Uh, people think it's the Three of Swords. No, to me as a reader, it's this card. Because this card says that you had built upon something time after time, years, months, days. You built something with somebody that it last. But at some point, it was not working for you. And at some point those beautiful things started to turn sour and it molded and you're like, I don't want it no more. So you have, you're walking away from something. I do see you walking away from something and it's time to tune into your intuition and your emotions. Um, now also, also I'm going to say this for another group, another aspect, just because spirit is really encouraging me to do it. If you are widowed or if your spouse has, you know, reached the other side, um, this card can also say that it's time for you to start again. This card can also say that it's time for you to open up your eyes and, and it's time for you to enjoy things again. Okay. Okay. That's what spirit is saying. Um, I will pull one more card for the coupled. Thank you. The chariot, moving on, new beginnings, happiness, dreams, success. This is cancer, which cancer is the most, you know, we're the crybabies. I'm a cancer. Um, we hold our emotions in too uh, sometimes and it, we get under pressure. So I do feel like it's good to talk about things together. Open yourself up and whatever it is, you're moving into a new beginning. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get into some oracle messages. Ooh, we have the super moon and we have the 10th house. Thank you so much. Fixed moon as well in Saturn. So the super moon is about cutting cords, um, releasing of what no longer is serving you. And it's time for you to dream again. Positive changes at hand, restlessness drama the 10th house for career big ideas and career this is about success change growth happiness abundance 
public image. Maybe some of y'all are influencers. Maybe you are the face of a business. Whatever this is, this is heavy Capricorn energy, which we also pulled Saturn as well. So I do feel like with the Saturn coming in with the 10th house, there could be something like slow and steady to approach. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, endurance, structure, self-control. And I feel like what whatever the stagnancy is, it's like, you know, you're doing the work. You are actively doing the work. Success is here. Don't stress about that. Success will be here. And then we also have about not backing down, being strong-willed, and nothing can change the power of your mind. And the thing is, is that y'all are fixed signs. And what does fixed mean? Well, well, let's talk about that modality really quick. Fixed means that it falls in the middle of the season. So it's in between the, the beginning and the end. So it's almost like you're stuck. It feels stuck, but you're just kind of stuck in your ways. And it is what it is. Um, there could be some things in your, in your life or aspects of you changing and, um, whatever this is, it's beautiful. Other fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. And let's go ahead and get, thank you, um, a message from, um, the angels. And we'll go ahead and, um, read this from the book. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> if y'all seen that, y'all seen that. And you have... Number 17, the Mandela of the heart. And number 17 in tarot is actually the star for Aquarius. And what does Aquarius mean? Friendships, groups, humanitarians, hopes and wishes, dreams, manifestation. It's about the future. A lot of people associate water with Aquarius, but they are called the water bringers. But they are an air sign, which talks about communication, wisdom, illumination, being eccentric, diverse, different, not like fitting in the box. This is about new approaches. And um, let's go ahead and see what your card says. Sometimes aspects of our life fall apart or don't go to plan. This is so they can come back together in a beautiful new way. Trust in the goodness and in the inevitable blessing of your destiny falling into place. Do not trust in your fears. Put your faith in the love of your heart and a heartfelt wish is going to manifest. Beautiful. And as always, I love y'all. And if you watch this whole video, kudos. Thank you for supporting me. Please like this video. And if you want to share it out, you don't have to drop a comment, drop a flower emoji down in the comment box below if you resonated with this reading. And if you want to check out my Patreon or Etsy or anything else, please click the link in the description box below. And as always, I love you, Scorpio, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.